All right, I'm going to show you guys how I catch a honeybee swarm. It's videotaped by, with my cell phone only because my video camera that I'm using now, the battery is dead when I went to go get it. I had a tripod and everything set up, and the battery was dead. So, I uh, still got quite a bit with the cell phone. So, after I catch the swarm, I'm going to update with this video camera and show you how they're doing. All right, found my first swarm. You can see those. Big ones, size of a basketball or bigger. I'm gonna try and catch them. Got my hive in the bed of the truck, all pull apart. See if we can do this. All right there's my box. There's where the bees are gonna go, and they're right there. Not very far from the farm, but I hear thunder. I better hurry up. There they are. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I got them. Take them over here. We're just gonna shake these out. Right down in the box here. Just like that. Now what we'll do is watch out. Now hopefully they see the hole down there and they start coming out. Alright. Well sweating like crazy but I think we got them. They're buzzing around. They're trying to go back over there on that tree, but if you notice, they're trying to go back in. Good sign. Good sign. There's a lot of things uh, with that that uh, I need to explain now. So we're gonna go to where I keep the bees, actually right here in the middle of the barnyard here. Um, cows are in, in here now. I've got a horse in here, but uh, it's surrounded by electric fence, so <laughs> uh, not gonna have to worry about a bear. And this is the old scale house. Um, <laughs> kind of crazy. I don't know if these scales are worth anything, but there's the old scales from, man, that, those are back from the probably the 30s or 40s or something. And you can see down there where the, right there's where they all link together, but uh, I have them right here in, the actual scale house and I use this because sometimes the cows like to get in here and there you can see the bees and my box and how I have it all set up probably somebody's already thinking why did you wear a bee suit you know you could have did that without a bee suit yeah I could have picking up a swarm I don't know whether they're an aggressive swarm uh, super super hot sometimes when it's almost ridiculously hot they don't like to be messed with um, so I was just uh, really didn't feel like messing with a, an aggressive hive if, if I was getting an aggressive hive um, but I'm telling you I probably could have not worn anything that day because this is a really great hive uh, swarm that I caught because I'm right handed they're blowing right past my face to come into the hive and you're gonna see that uh, this is the way the majority of the bees are uh, in the area and once in a while you will get something that is aggressive but you're gonna see how I can get right into this hive and mess with it so I do this sort of for a hobby it's why I haven't videotaped much of it um, uh, just I, I dabble in it I guess you could say uh, it's the only hive I have uh, it's a war a hive so um, I'll show you more about this so let's get up in here okay so we have the bees going in and out of the hive I'm not seeing any bees actually fanning the hive out I think there's some are back in there you can't there's one right there you can see it back in there and what that bee's doing is it's using its wings to try to push out the hot air, give a, bring a little bit of airflow through the hive to cool them down. Um, it is about 86 degrees out right now, but let's go back here and I'll show you what the back of this looks like. And this is a War A hive from Sweet Valley Hives. Uh, this is actually a Pennsylvania company. Uh, more towards eastern Pennsylvania and you can see already these bees have only been in here for maybe a week and a half and you can see how much brand new comb that they have made on this first box now this the reason why you see some uh, old honey and comb here is because my last hive did not survive the winter. I had it for a few years and don't know what happened. They had lots of honey and but I'm not sure what exactly happened. So we can go down to the next box and see what they're doing down here. 
Well, we can see right now that they haven't made it to the second box. And we can go down here to the third box. And we can actually see right outside. We can see them. We can see those bees. And there you can see those ones that are fanning out the hives from the inside. We're actually looking from the inside out. So that is a, th this hive is really cool because you can observe the bees and what they're doing as they're doing it. The other thing about this is there is this, what they call a mite board. So we pull this out and you can see, um, <clears throat> now this is <clears throat> basically a board that you would maybe like spray with, uh, it's, it's pretty much like corrugated uh, plastic or whatever you want to call it. And what you do with this, you put a little bit of cooking spray on here and then you can go through and you can see, if you look real close, you can tell if there's any mites on from your bees. Uh, mites are a big uh, parasite that kill a lot of bees. You can also check out the pollen, um, notice things of where they're getting stuff from. And uh, usually I just open this up and I'll just, I just kind of wipe it off like this. Get it all cleaned out and stick it back in for another time. Now, you want to keep that closed because the bees can get in there. And if you notice down there, on the bottom is uh, just a grate. It's just mesh screen on the bottom, uh, steel screen that the bees can't get through, but that's how the, the uh, stuff drops down through. So the mites will drop down through the box onto the bottom. You won't get that in a Langstroth, but and then you want to keep that closed because then bees can get in here and it's just open underneath this. So we keep that closed. We'll put this one back on. Close it up. We'll put this one back on. Close it up. Now, if you notice, they're supposed to actually, um, they're supposed to um, go right onto the, onto the little back window here. And that's okay. So when you take the hive, the, the, the uh, frames out, uh, they're free-forming frames, which means like a Langstroth hive, you have the wired frames that you would use in a, an extractor. And you can't use an extractor with these frames. Um, they're free-form frames. So this is to try to replicate what the bees would actually do naturally in the wild. Um, and they're going to build the comb and the way those frames are made have a little bit of wax on them that to try to help the bees make straight lines. And here it's shown, you can see they're making straight lines exactly the way that it's supposed to work. It doesn't always happen that way, but we can tell right now that they're, they've, they've got them all filled. So this is an eight frame, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they're working on number eight. They don't have it finished. So anyways, it's basically the crush and strain method, or you cut it right off of the frame and eat the whole thing. The, you can actually eat the comb and everything. And it's actually better for you uh, than extracting it because there's a lot of nutrients and protein and um, healthy beneficial things from the pollen that are left in the comb. Um, another thing, here you can see, I'll show you a picture. Here's a picture, uh, this was a couple years ago, and I had a whole box full of these frames full of honey. Um, so there you can see that was right here in the barnyard uh, in the fall. Uh, I took some out. Now, I can go into a lot of things um, because I have learned a lot about bees and how to keep them. Uh, but this was just a straight course and showing you how to catch a swarm and my little bit of dabble with the bees Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see more beekeeping videos things about this video other things So let me know in the comments give it a like subscribe you guys can see Literally how close I am the bees are actually landing on my arm right now <laughs> Flying right on my arm to get into the hive but you can literally get right down next to them and look at them. Now I can actually feel on my arm of these bees that are flying into my arm. I can actually feel the air movement from the bees uh, that are sitting there trying to air condition the hive out. So this is a really, really, really docile, calm, 
hive. And I'm really happy that I caught them, so hopefully they last.